welcome back to the Raina's kitchen i know you guys are waiting on this video all right so look what we have before us this is actually brown stew goat is what we're cooking today i know it looks like pork but yeah you can brown stew goat a lot of people don't like curry or eat curry um so yeah they'll brown stew um you know you can brown stew your goat and it was so good um yeah that's like how you can curry oxtail you know switch it up every now and then see that's what it looks like when we started cooking it so i'm gonna show you what it looks like cutting it up all right so i'm cutting it up right here um just you know wash it with vinegar a little lime um salt you know just to wash it off with and then i'll cut it up nice and small All right, so this is about four pounds of goat. All right, I have all my ingredients right here. I will list them as I use them. Um, yeah, I just, you know, a lot of natural ingredients. I have some jerk seasoning, some all-purpose, my green seasoning. If you're looking for a great recipe, you can scroll down on my channel and make that. It goes great. Make your food taste nice and flavorful. All right, so I'm adding about a teaspoon of browning. You can burn your sugar and, you know, give the browning if you'd like. This is about two tablespoons of all-purpose seasoning, about one teaspoon of jerk seasoning. This is just, you know, just put enough green seasoning as your heart desire. Probably about half a cup, so it's enough to, you know, make it seasoned. And I also add some Worcestershire sauce, probably about two tablespoons. All right, and then I'm also going to add some oyster sauce. Yes, oyster sauce tastes good on brown stew gold or if you're making some pork probably about a tablespoon to two tablespoon um just use everything in moderation all right and i have some ginger right there i have my garlic my thyme i have pimento which is allspice berry some scotch bonnet it's not really hot so i can put as much and then i have you know onion scallion i have my green pepper the green sweet pepper and the red sweet pepper about a quarter of each is what i cut up um actually about half of each and i'm putting just half on this now and i'm gonna save the remainder for when i'm cooking oh and just a little salt and pepper you can let this marinate overnight or you know give it a few hours in the refrigerator because it's gonna be cooking for a very long time it's gonna be cooking you know just cook until it's tender this one was like about three to four hours or you can put it in your pressure cooker which you know cuts out that cooking process look how delicious this looks All right, so I'm letting this cook for about an hour. And then after an hour, I'm just gonna, you know, take it off, take the cover off. So that's what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna add some more seasoning. Just make sure you taste it. Make sure everything is, you know, just seasoned along the way. Um, I did not add any water to this. It sprung forth its own juices. So that's a great thing. Just marinating its own juice. Only liquid I add to this besides the green seasoning. I'll be adding some red label wine and you know those other little stuff, but I didn't add any water to this. All right, so I'm just freshening up the pot with some more seasoning. Like I said, you can season throughout. Um, you know, check it every hour the t for tenderness if you need more seasoning. And if you have to add water, just make sure you add some boiling hot water. Hey, 
here is a list well actually the picture of all the the seasoning that i added so you can see what they look like the Worcestershire sauce the oyster sauce the browning um big up spice jamaica on the seasoning you could get um check him out on instagram um or go to his website and grab that spice jamaica llc all right so yeah definitely some red label wine to let this soak up and um yeah like i said just cook until tender if you need to add more natural seasoning along the way but this is going to be so nice and flavorful the natural seasoning is what makes the food taste even better okay all right so after about three hours of cooking this is what it looks like it was so delicious like i said it it will spring forth its own um juices no water added and um yeah pair this up with some rice or if you want to eat it with some dumpling and banana look how delicious that look all right make sure you guys hit that subscribe button that notification bell so every time i drop another video you'll be the first to be notified make sure you follow me also on instagram at the Rainers kitchen and hit um yeah you can also check me out on the other platforms as well make sure you follow me on amazon at the rainus kitchen i go live at least once a week all right thank you guys again for tuning in drop some comments in the comment section let me know if you try it and yeah have a merry christmas if i don't see you guys or actually here <laughs> um, drop another video before then thank you again for watching and i'll see you on the next video have a great day Bye bye